basement or upstairs living area, you are willing and able to devote to your wine cellar. If you're lucky enough to have ample space and location options, then the capacity, design elements, and budget will become the primary drivers for making your decision. However, more often than not, there are existing restrictions on the space that you can devote to your wine cellar. Location. First, below-grade basements are the ideal location for your wine cellar. They're generally not fully occupied by functional living space and are excellent for creating an environment favorable for long-term wine storage. If your cellar will be in an above-ground living space, then consider its location in relation to dining and entertaining areas of your home. Special construction procedures regarding insulation and vapor barriers will need to be carefully employed when building a wine cellar in an above-ground living space and will be covered in detail later in the presentation. Third, once you decide which floor level the wine cellar will be located on, you must determine where on that level it will be located. Again, form and function may not be working in concert on this front, so there are some important factors to consider. First, when building a wine cellar, you have to decide if you're going to actively or passively cool it. Actively means that a cooling system is used to control the environment. Passively means that you're relying on the natural setting of the cellar to keep the environment controlled. Regardless of whether your cellar will be actively or passively cooled, the best functional location for your wine cellar will be in the shadiest corner of your home, the northeast. This cellar orientation will provide the most efficient cooling solution over time. Not to worry, if your cellar cannot be located in the northeast part of your home, then accommodations in construction, including insulation and cooling systems, can be made. Second, if you're considering a passively cooled wine cellar, your cellar location must meet the following criteria. A. Your cellar will be below grade in a basement. B. Your cellar is in the northeast corner of your basement. C. Your home is far enough north where winter temperatures remain consistently below 40 degree Fahrenheit for at least four months. If all of these conditions cannot be met, you should plan on installing a cooling system in your cellar to maintain a proper wine storage climate. Your wine cellar will need to be isolated from the rest of your home. The basements of most modern homes are too warm and dry for ideal wine storage, so walls with insulation, a vapor barrier, and moisture-resistant sheathing will be required. This will be true regardless of how you choose to cool your wine cellar. If your wine cellar will be in a basement, it should be located in the outer walls as the foundation and exterior soil will help to keep the interior cool and provide natural insulation. Your wine should be isolated from sources of heat, vibration, and odors. Avoid locating your cellar near heating systems, hot water heaters, or any home appliances.